Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is the Wix Online Meeting 151 rolling our way through June. Uh, this is going to be a short meeting, so let's not mess around and just make it short. Um, as always, these meetings are recorded for those of you that aren't here with us right here, right now. Uh, we'll do triage. I don't think it'll take us that long, and we're probably going to go jet. Um, I'm catching up with my World Cup, so uh, let's go do that. Triage. Bob, you ready? Let's go. All right. Um, three opened by one guy, so he jumped in, and then something that, yeah. All right, great. Um, heat generate payload group. Running this creates a separate components versus a name payload group for a burn XE. Okay. I haven't tried this in forever. I'm only familiar with using it to you know, grok all the various bits that have to go into the remote payload element. Yeah, I don't know. I've never I used guess this before. <laughs> it's kind of interesting to generate a payload group out of a directory, say. I don't know that it, that actually, you know, is guaranteed to work. As I recall from Heat, all the, you know, the various options there are kind of optional based on um, yeah, you know, the type of harvesting, and you know, I know the project harvester does a lot of extra stuff. I don't, yeah, you know, I don't know that this is actually, you know, supported. I don't even know what he's trying to do. Like, I don't really understand. Create separate components versus a name payload group. My guess is the the directory harvester, which it would actually be convenient to have an exact command line um, to know what he's trying to do. But like the directory harvester, I bet doesn't support payload group. Yeah, I. Okay. I've never. I mean, we could talk yeah, about that. We could be like, hey, if you have, you know, we don't really get. If you have more detail, or should we just resolve it as Matt and be like, if you want to provide more detail, then you can bring this back. It's not. I mean, as a, it's not a bug. It's a feature request. Yeah. As a so, feature request, it's you know. I don't even understand uh, it. Well, being able to generate. I, I'm guessing. Group. That's my problem. Is I don't actually know what he's trying to do. Well, he's trying to generate a named payload group for a bundle, and he. He doesn't support it. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it, and again, it's it's you know, sure, <laughs> there's, there's so good. many things in there. A named payload group. I no guarantee that you know, there's anywhere there's support for for giving it an ID. Yeah. So I, I this is basically cool. Someone could put a whip together to describe how this should work. Um. Sure. And call it good. I, I'm. There's not enough detail in here to really know. I could guess a couple different things, and I just yeah. don't know. So I'm saying. Yeah. No, that's fair. That's fair. And also, you know, the um, payloads are are trivial. I have a tough time caring about, you know, generating payload. Because yeah. it's payload source file. Yeah. Uh, okay. And then uh, you can't I'm generate sure most you... of the other stuff. You have to be very specific. I mean, there's... Well, for a payload, no, no, I'm saying for a payload, there's nothing else. Oh, payload. Right. Payload, yeah. right. Right. There's nothing Sorry, there. there's I was thinking package, package. package. Right. This is a payload group. Yeah. yeah I just don't care. <laughs> yeah, I'm, now that I, I talk about it out loud, I kind of don't care either. Yeah. I don't know, I don't know who added payload group or why. I'm betting there's a, you know, there's some scenario there, but. It allows you to put a bunch of stuff into a separate fragment and have it included by your first drop application. Well, I understand we, that. We use but it to share I, stuff across uh, bootstrap replication definitions. I'm just not Jesus. clear on why payload. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I, well, I, I don't understand, you know, all the you know, reliance on heat anyway, for especially for something as simple like a payload group. Um. Yeah, all right. Uh, 
put this in a whip, and then can we just put this in a... Yeah, we don't care that much, but if someone wants to do it, they could do the whip and all that stuff. Put it in work. Sure. Somewhere. All right. Uh, uh, lost my mouse. All right. Auto removal of temp driver files. This is going to be something to do with Diffix, right? Yep. After to the driver, it allows you to install some random default location, install the inf, and then delete everything. It's not even Diffix. It's installing INF files. And then delete everything. No. That's not how... No. I see no need for duplication. Yeah, this is how Diffix app works. You have to, like, install these files as part of your install and reference them. And it's... it's yeah. It's the way they made it work. We don't we don't have the code and we don't have the ability to change it. So this is a fair well, even yeah, even ignoring diffix, it's like, you know, INF files files. That MSI installs them. Um I don't want to get into the game of, of you know temporary extraction and cleanup. No, no, install the files. How big are they? Oh, really tiny? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh no. Okay. Should program file 64 folder work with candle? Yes. This is a Wix 4 thing I'm trying to do. Well, as Blair Oh, there's a burn out, thing. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, burn uh, already has 6432. And I want which is cool. I want Wix to have it too. So, this if yeah. this isn't open already, I thought there's one open for this already in Wix 4. Um, if there isn't, we can use this to track it. But yeah, I'd like this to work in Wix 4. Because it's annoying what you have to do today, and we should just handle this for you because we can. So, anyway, uh, yeah, I, you can give this to me, and I'll look around and see if it. When I get to it in Wix four, I will dupe it to the other one if it doesn't exist already. Okay. I have parts of that working already. Cool. Um, uninstall, remove package cache junction. So yeah, this is a guy that was trying to move the package, the burn package cache by creating a soft link, a junction, and then it had problems because, well, it didn't have problems, it works perfectly, and then at the end we would remove the junction because the package cache was empty, and he was upset about that. Um, and there's a correct way to actually move that. There's a policy key. And he says, I don't think removing the junction is a good idea. And I'm like, I can't, don't care if it's a junction or not. It's a boy. So in the end, he's like, fine. Remove it, but in my case, it still had many other directories. In it. I don't understand that. Which? This last part. If it's empty, it's a good idea to remove it. But in my case, it still has so many other directories in it. The junction had other directories in it. I don't. Or the original package. I don't know what he's saying there. But anyway, the correct way to do this is with the policy, and then everything will just work. Because we never made the junction thing work. Because nobody's going to do that, <laughs> except at really advanced users. Use the policy. Works great. You can even do it through group policy because it's in the correct hive. Well, the junction semi-worked before the policy existed, but now that the policy exists, that's obviously the way to go if you want to do this thing. Yeah. So, anyway, I think, yeah, anyway, that's closed. It can go away with a by design, I guess. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Summer colds kind of suck. Um, short meeting. Winter ones aren't much better. Yeah. Um, short meeting. I don't think there's a lot else going on. Um, we're getting to the end. July will be more interesting, I think. More stuff. I know I'll have a little more freedom in July, and I'm looking forward to it. Um, anything else people want to talk about? Sean? Jacob? How's that whip coming along with removing the display internal UI? Um, yeah, it still exists. Um, uh, I should probably go back to last, uh, last meeting and remember what we decided on. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I'm going to have some time in the next few weeks. I'm wondering what I should pick up. Ah, so, you, you too, huh? Yeah. No, Jacob, this is getting rid of display and turn UI so we can do it properly. Um, just the 
be nice. All right, so it's it's in works. Sounds like Sean might be interested in getting that out of the engine, which I think would be fantastic too. Um, all right, cool. Uh, Jacob, thank you for running down, or at least running down a lot of that last issue with the what was it, the WSL stuff, and finding that I think in the end you found that they had turned on case sensitivity on that path or something, and so the file name weren't matching or something. <laughs> that was it's like, uh, yeah, case sensitivity on Windows is going to be interesting. All right, close, not a resolution yet. All right, fair enough. Um, interesting. I don't know that we muck with the paths, do we? We don't change the casing of paths in Wix anywhere, I hope. I hope not, but I was thinking about that. Uh, relative path is interesting. If there's an issue doing get full path. Yeah. If get full path, like, changed it so it didn't match and... Yeah. Uh, use bind paths with appropriate casing. Uh, it's usually my solution getting out of most problems. Um, all right, cool. Well, I don't think we got... It's kind of quiet right now. It's kind of expected. Um, it's good to hear that Sean might have some time. That'll be fun. Nice to see some a bit of progress after being buried. I've realized that I've been buried for like 12 months um, and signed up for this 12 months ago. Just kind of don't know what I was thinking. Um, <laughs> so yeah, feeling good about being almost done here. Um, cool. All right. Well, I guess on that note, since there's not a lot else going on right now, uh, we'll just keep on keeping on for another couple weeks um, and see where we're at then. So I guess we'll all get back together after July 4th. Uh, I actually don't know what the holiday schedule is around that. Is it just you get July 4th off and then everybody else is back to work on the 5th? Um, is that the way that works? I don't know. I'm so used to being July 4th being like on a Monday. It feels like a long weekend. That makes more sense. Yeah, Wednesday's a horrible day for a holiday. Isn't it? You're like, woohoo, go out, stay out late, and then go to work the next day? Hmm. Yeah, I don't know about that. Anyway, we'll so see. So you're saying official fire giant policy is to take the rest of the week off? Excellent. I do not say that. I'll be working on July 4th. I don't know about everybody else, but um, we'll see. Um, so anyway, two weeks, July 5th. I expect we'll all be here. Uh, of course, always look for a meeting request. I'm trying to be good about sending those. Um, and we'll be back here talking about, well, I guess what bugs ever we have and looking forward to things that we're doing. So two weeks from now. You guys take it easy, and we'll see you soon. Bye. Bye. Bye.